Hello, hello, and welcome back to Minotaur Hotel. We're, um, I forgot what we were doing. That's okay, it's fine. After your daily tasks are done, uh, you return to the lounge to enjoy a meal and a moment of rest. You scroll through your, you scroll through your phone while waiting for Luke to come and take your order. 10 minutes pass to the uh, frantic rhythm, which seems to guide the Griffins every step. <laughs> like a metronome, each tick of the clock seems to punctuate a beat in the inaudible, um, yeah, inaudible song as, Luke's, that, as Luke endeavors to keep all his plates in the air at once. He rushes back and forth from the kitchen, uh, to the counter, to the table, uh, taking orders, serving drinks, and delivering food, and occasionally flirting with the um, male guests. However, he can, um, he can find a, wait, wherever, whenever he can find a spare moment. Delays are unfortunate, but inevitable. And now that you're receiving uh, more people, however, <clears throat> it still takes much longer than your um, worst estimate to be served. A performance artist to whom you are partial <clears throat> has held some new um, exhi exhibition in galleries that you cannot see. He strictly uh, disallows photography or videography of his work, and so the so the interest you have in it is almost met with the frustration of never being able to see any of it in a um, more direct way than through uh, critic descriptions. You wish you could share this frustration with someone. You look up from your phone and search around for the um, ever shameless Griffin. The uh, quickest of glances reveal no one uh, wears only a speedo, and neither do you uh, hear any uh, raunchy jokes in his Texan drawl. You look again. Uh, could he be uh, wearing something decent for a change? Acting with class and discretion, mayhaps disguised? The gods, however, are never so kind. Luke is nowhere to be seen, nearly naked or otherwise. Is something wrong? You get up to check in the kitchen, but as soon as you do, you bump, and quite literally so, into something more unexpected. <laughs> uh, two of the kobolds are uh, cowering next to your legs, uh, barely noticeable uh, under the table. They're, they're so cute. <laughs> Their usual rags are gone. Instead, they are wearing what looks like, uh, looks for what looks for all the world like miniature fast food uniforms. The polos and uh, khaki pants are stained with grease, and plastic visors are perched uh, smartly and um, precariously upon their brows. One of the kobolds jumps backwards to bolt, uh, but the uh, darker one yanks his uh, companion by the collar with, the, with his other hand. He pokes you with a piece of paper until you take it. No, no! Uh, Goldar! Uh, Guldarn it. Guldarn it? Okay. Uh, uh, Zepito, we've been over this. You don't give the notebook to the guests. You gotta get their attention, and then write their order down. I swear, if, all, if a duck had your brains, it'd fly north for the winter. Uh, Luke yanks the notebook from the cobalt's grasp, and the doe-eyed darling starts uh, shaking, shaking as tears well in its eyes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I lost my temper there, buddy. I didn't mean it, okay? We're, you're doing great. Just uh, gotta hammer out some kinks and all that. I'll make it up to you, alright? Just go get uh, Table 10 their food while I take care of the ordering. After this shift, I'll fry you boys up some corn dogs. Corn dogs. Those words almost uh, transmogrify their tears into glimmering diamonds and um, f uh, forever glorious uh, pyrite. The um, the kobolds scurry off to perform their task, already looking forward to the savory treat to come. Sorry about that, Mr. Josh. Can I take your order? What the hell just happened? Well, <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. Uh. Well, uh, things are more uh, crowded lately, and I was having a hard time handling all on my own. 
The kobolds were getting antsy and wanting to pitch in, so they're my waiters now. As Luke pulls out a pen, you notice his eyes darting back and forth, uh, not to um, uh, leer at the man's crotches, uh, but to um, track the uh, darling kobolds as they scamper, ab scamper about. Zippito, that's table nine. Table ten's over there. You seem to have your hands full, even with their help. Like you wouldn't believe, Chief. Taking orders is the hardest part of them. Really, they're awfully shy. But they still want to do it anyway. I love the little buggers. When you least expect, they do the cutest shit you can imagine. They're eager. Uh, they're eager, too, and I can respect that. Plus, you can get them to do near about anything for corn dogs. Anything. Uh, like, um, putting on those little outfits? Why? Thank you for noticing, partner. I designed them myself. Guess Ma was right. I do have some designer in me. I know some of the uh, guests didn't take too kindly to me uh, strutting around in the thong, so I figured they uh, uh, this better uh, represent this here establishment. And Asterion, I think he liked the idea too. He hummed up those uh, clothes faster than the snake uh, could shake its rattle. I appreciate that, Luke. That's some very professional um, in innovation uh, coming from you. Never say I ain't open to feedback, boss. Well, I do suppose it'll make it harder to hook up. But it ain't like I've uh, been doing much of that anyway. With, uh, what with mapping the sky and all that. So yeah, uh... Uh... Where was I? <laughs> no. Uh, so yeah, uh, when the little guys uh, offered to help, I just had to give them something to better to wear. Why not a uniform? Uh, they don't really look very, um, et, mm, er, ergonomic, though. You want to run that by me one more time, fancy pants? I don't know too many $10 words. Yo, same. Comfortable. Easy to work in. Well, it's a work in progress. But enough of that. Uh, where's my manners? Can I get you something to drink, Mr. Josh? Luke takes your orders and returns to the kitchen. Then, from the hallway, you catch a familiar tone, a melod a uh, melodic clopping of hooves and, ru and um, chest rumbling hum. The familiar, um, <laughs> your uh, friend locks his uh, gaze on you, but before approaching, he meanders about. He nods to the men sitting at the corner, waves at a pair of women snacking to the side, and bows to the family and their children. To you, he smiles. And even after sitting, he can't help but flick his ears and fidget his hooves. His open and uh, his open and close uh, listening expression uh, can often register to some of the guests as blank or stony, but to you, he smiles. This is not an invitation. You raise your brows, your eyebrows, and he giggles. You wait for him to speak, and he merely snorts and leans back. You're a pet. Petu petulant uh, partner leaves you no choice but to uh, take the bait. <laughs> Seem like you're having a grand old time. Yes, sir. It's a fine day, it has been. And what exactly had made it so fine, hmm? The Minotaur rests his chin on a hand, the scra uh, then scratches his own ears, but his lips remain sealed. Uh, the uh, prey shall not deliver itself. The hunter must, uh, give chase. Do I need to guess? Perhaps, if you wish to know at all. By the gods. Uh, one night you give, uh, rights to one man, and next week passes by, uh, he keeps, he learns to keep secrets. Tell me, what stops me from ordering you to say it? You uh, yourself only. Uh, pardon the impatient, uh, impertinence. But a master may be. You may be. Yes, leadership you possess more than mastery itself. To be a leader or a master, the distance between the two is greater than the widest sea. At least you give me some credit. 
Now, to guess what secret it is you're keeping. You ruminate on all that all that's uh, happened so far, all the good and bad. Oh, what could leave Asterion in such a state? Could it be relate something related to Argos? Uh, has the rascal tried to tried and failed to come up with another of his schemes? But you uh, aren't give you aren't given the chance to consider further. The Minotaur gets antsy and gives in. Let's not tarry. Hear it then. I just had a conversation with a few guests, and they wish to join us as staff. That's great news. This hotel, magic or not, is way too big for the four of us to attend to alone. Indeed. Uh, we will uh, need many more people in our family if we are to uh, fully realize our mission. Uh, and the uh, ones who, ap who approached me about it seem like fine folk. I have a good feeling about them. Now, Mr. Josh, d do you... Would you uh, consent to it? To expand our staff. Let's see. If memory serves, uh, haven't we um, become partners in managing this fine establishment? Isn't that correct? Indeed. Then you have um, you have as much decision uh, making power as I do. If your judgment tells me um, uh, tells you these are good people, then I'll trust you. I consent to it. But going forward, uh, let's establish that you're in charge of hiring. You are too kind. In that case, could I suggest or ask? You nod even before he has a chance to finish. We should uh, hold a seminar to welcome the instruction, the instructor, wait, and instruct our new staff. Uh, don't you think so? You smile, and that says more than any oracle ever did. That's cute. Okay. The next morning, you and Asterion sit by the sidelines as Luke and Kota uh, take um, uh, take the stage to speak of their experience so far. Your guests, now cherished um, staff members, drink in every word. Their eyes glimmering like stars after a uh, after a light rain. Not a week ago, had they uh, wait, they had arrived in unwashed clothes, uh, owning uh, only what they uh, could carry. Or not even that. Today, however, they witness the Minotaur's mysteries. Everyone learns how to um, hum the realm of wakefulness and uh, command it to um, realize minor miracles. They learn too that the um, hotel's greatness comes from its mission, and at the uh, cost of hard work, dedication, and humanity. They learn much, but on the topic of Asterion's past, they are told only the um, one essential point. He is the uh, co-owner alongside you. All else is for him to share if and when he pleases. Asterion's uh, tail swishes and uh, grazes against uh, your leg. His eyes have a uh, fine dew to them as he swallows the uh, lump in his throat. <laughs> they have a home now. The hotel is fulfilling its purpose. Oh, big. Asterion nods and his ears uh, flutter, as though taken, by, taken over by a song. You put a hand over your friend's shoulder and uh, bring him closer to you. Your arm around his uh, lower back, a uh, lead ring, uh, lead ring um, brushes against his shirt. His, he lifts his own like a sun at dawn, uh, shy over the horizon, until he, his warmth drapes over your shoulder in return. But a distance remains between your hips, a shy hesitance uh, taken over the uh, both of taken takes over the both of you. Okay. Uh, should your fingers graze his fur? Uh, should he um, uh, further rest the weight of his arm over yours? Perfection does not exist in such a matter. Uh, one can grip the uh, other shirt, uh, crash uh, hips together, and graze three fingers over the other spine, and none uh, would uh, be any the wiser uh, were they to laugh it off. Just as, uh, just as fair would it be for both to look away with flustered cheeks as hummingbirds uh, peck their scalps. Uh, but uh, banish these thoughts. Enjoy the... Um, Enjoy the warm softness of his fur, the coarse 
the coarseness of his hands and thick knuckles and the weight of his arm. He enjoys it to, enjoys in turn the kindness of your touch as it supports and props up his spine and the uh, mercy you have extended to him, the hotel and its guests. And yet, more than your goodness, he cherishes the um, brotherhood of a man who has uh, taken his so well to his mission. But the moment ends too soon. Kota and Luke beckon, you, beckon for one of the co-workers to take over and continue with the um, seminar. Uh, with the uh, tips of his fingers, you push Asterion forward. He does not budge until his, it crosses his mind that this may be in order. Yet, his first step only comes when he uh, knows it is not. The Minotaur takes the stage once more, and this time he shows no fear. As it was said, my name is Asterion, and I am this hotel's. He claps his hands together, as though um, gasping the, uh, wait, grasping the uh, smallest diamond, while all the, um, while all of, uh, of time and memory uh, swells forth. And the impossible fantasy uh, one nurses um, when about to fall asleep. And the exaggerated dream of never mention uh, one never mentions uh, all that can never be uh, admitted comes true. Uh, he, uh, bleh. his uh, chest swells and his voice ever uh, even in uh, even if hitched uh, booms. My name is Asterion, and I am the hotel's co-owner alongside my partner, Mr. Josh. Do we get to be with the boys? The boys? Uh, the bull and I set off. Okay. <laughs> uh, I drove on the road by the, uh, the cliff walls, passing by each of the decaying villages on our uh, way up the hinterlands. I could never stomach their names. A bloody goat, a skinned uh, tapir, and the um, crown jewel uh, drowned uh, tapir. Uh, the boy is, uh, the boy asks half a dozen more questions about the charm. I answered just enough of them to keep him happy without having to um, uh, run his mouth off. He did God, he's so cute. Uh, he did ask the um, one question that mattered though. Uh, where are we going any uh, where are we going, sir? Uh, we're visiting a family friend. Uh, she's the one who uh, gave me the tip about a minotaur at the bottom of the valley. Her name's Nini, and she's uh, about a hundred years old. Par <sighs> okay, uh, paralyzed from the waist down because of some accident, then bedridden after she uh, got a bad case of Parkinson's. Seven strokes, uh, diabetes, high blood pressure. On top of all that, she lives. Uh, off of candy and table salt. Nothing can kill her. Except loss. A while ago, she, uh, her, her dog died, ran over by a car, and that almost got her. So, if you catch my meaning, Nini is a, a very sensitive and kind old lady. And treat her with respect. Aye, aye. I can do that. If she gives uh, me the same kindness, if she gives me the same uh, kindness, if anything, uh, she'll give you too much of it, as long as uh, we don't get her angry. Uh, when we um, arrive at uh, Drowned Tapir, it was seven. P it was eight. A <laughs> uh, eight p.m. We got there. Uh, we didn't have much time left before she went to bed. Her house was near the um, graveyard at the edge of the town. I collapsed and uh, called out at the front door until Nini's granddaughter took us in. We were, t we were told to um, walk carefully. Uh, there were lines of salt across each doorway, and uh, bowls of it on the uh, shelves and table, upon which uh, burned sweet scents, sweet scented candles. The paint on the walls was uh, peeling and flaking. The furniture, all of it, uh, yeah, all of it, uh, was covered by thick plastic sheets. There were half a dozen young women about, 
around the um, dinner table. All of them had their gaze locked on the flat screen TV playing an old grainy soap opera. Uh, from a uh, door off to the side uh, came a voice I knew too well, sweeter than cane sugar, and more um, nauseating as well. Um, actually, I think I'll I'll end the part here. Uh, I'll um, I'll see you around, everyone.